It would be really sick if we could play this on the wheel, but alas, I, I don't think that is a thing. Like, wheels were quite a rarity in this era of sim racing, if that's what you want to call it. But anyway, welcome guys to another episode of the Toka Race Driver 3 career mode. My controller is not working. Good. Anyway, where were we? Toka Race Driver 3 career mode part number 3. Welcome back. Um, hopefully you guys are enjoying the series so far. If you are, make sure you smash that like button. We're in tier 10 now. 29% uh, of the way to the end of the career mode journey. How far along we will actually race a Formula 1 car, I don't know. But we could face that even before we get to 100%. That would be pretty cool. But anyway, this is what we have on the immediate horizon. We're going to do Formula BMW ADAC Championship, followed by European V6. And then beyond that, who the hell knows? Bloody hell. We are going to be absolute pros at Oshelers Leben by the end of this series. I, I swear we've just about done it in every... Well, we've, done, we've at least done it in every episode. Not every series. But maybe every second series. Anyway, Adelaide and Oran Park once again. No excuses. Let's do this. This 1.2 motorbike engine is at the heart of the Formula BMW race car. It produces 140 brake and has a six-speed and reverse gearbox. And this marker racing is seen as moving up the professional race driver's ladder. Only 140 brake horsepower. That is, uh, I don't know, it's it's pretty low. But in a thing this light, it might be it might be a bit of a weapon. So let's uh, head out there again. We can't play around with the setup, so uh, we're just gonna have to make do with what we've got. I swear my helmet changes every race as well. My uh my car is broken. I would like to raise a formal complaint with uh, FIA, the, the safety regulator, I don't know, whoever the hell made this car because it's got a lean. It, go it moves off to the left without even me doing anything. Let's try that again. Drive like a pro and it's onwards and upwards. And then there's the wheel spin issue as well. Look! No hands! And that's what it's doing. Okay, it's just a, it's just an episode of technical difficulties, it seems. Pretty sure he's gonna be having some technical difficulties after that. I really don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna have to soldier on with my bent steering number one BMW. Nothing ever comes easy in this career mode. Ooh, that was a sneaky little move. I'm not even gonna pull it off, am I? Around the outside. Come on. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez. Okay, let's just pinball off each other all day. That's fine. <laughs> I think we're running an extended layout of Osh Lisbon. So kind of having to learn the different segments on the fly as well. I think if anything, this is going to be the round where we just need to consolidate some points. Um, it was consistent in my in my younger days. I was never really great here. I just think the AI are very strong here. So we'll have to... Well, we're looking down the barrel of fifth place, which is no mean feat. But I, f I feel like the big points are going to come from the Aussie tracks. Or will they? I don't know. Some chicane is tasty, but it can easily spit you out as evidence there. I'd be very happy with P3, to be honest, guys. That'd be uh, an amazing result. But we've got a bit of work to do now in the final lap and a bit. Ah! That's a car gone. Take care. Don't let them push you around. Stay focused. I really don't like doing restarts, but I feel like I have to. <laughs> Either we restart now. Only you can make 
to come to know this championship. Give it your all. Either we restart now in this first race, or we, we play the long game, yeah. We go to Adelaide and Oran Park and do those final two races only to not qualify for the team objective anyway, and then have to come back and do all three races again. I know what I'd rather prefer. Oh, door is open. And I don't like running side by side through here, but the AI continue on forcing the issue anyway. P6. Oh, for God's sake. That curve will be the death of me. Why am I so silly? Oh, and I've taken my hand off the control. I can't do that in this car because it's insta-left. The wheel alignment is set up like a NASCAR or something. Going sweaty mode for this. Tuck in nicely. Get a nice exit. Don't touch the curb, which is what I've done. Two corners to go. I would love a P8 or a P7 or anything better than that. Yes! Risk and you shall receive. P8. That could be all the difference at the end of the season. Ah, we're all happy with that. Three points. You know what? I will take that. I will absolutely take that. This circuit is uh, very, very tricky. And it goes back to what I've been saying throughout the whole series. They don't make games like this anymore. So brutal. No, there's, there's, there's no margin for error. No rewinds. You do have restarts, but... Yeah, those curves are deadly, and I'm just glad to get out of there with just a handful of points. We move on to Adelaide. This should be a better circuit for us. The curves here aren't really brutal, to be honest. Well, they are, to a degree, but I, I don't think they'll have the same effect as the curves at Oshel has been. So, we should be in much better stead to move our way up the order. Like I said, our P4 in the standings is what we need. I don't really feel like we deserve the number one on the car, but I will accept it anyway. Away we go for Adelaide, and again, the steering is still not aligned correctly, but we will deal with that. We can fly over that and pick up a lot of time, which is nice. This is the race where we need a podium, I say. Definitely, at minimum. The tires are running at a perfect temperature. Keep it off. This BMW is just eating up the apexes of these, and the AI don't seem to be strong at 90 degree corners either. P7. You can run out wide here. There's a lot of different lines you can take out of that corner. You can either hold it in tight, but I actually like to fly out wide and use up the uh, the exit space. I don't think it's as good for your rear tires, but in a three lap race, who the hell cares? Turn eight. It's just a kink. It's not even a corner. We could get a couple of cars here. Breaking very, very late. Still, like, I was a bit conservative there, to be honest. P4. Nice move. Risking it for the chocolate biscuit. And we are now on the podium. I hope some scouts in the, uh, the F1 paddock are watching. I could almost take this. No, I can't take that flat. That was not a good idea. <laughs> We're about a postcode back, but I reckon we could probably get this guy. Bouncing on the rev limiter. Still a little bit conservative under brakes. I'm not going... I'm like braking, testing to see if we're pulling up alright. Um, but still, I can brake even later than what I did. The car, this car stops really well. I'll give it that. That's probably the best attribute this car's got. Okay, this is your final lap. you got to make your move now. What are we saying, guys? Can we pull it off from this far back to win here in Adelaide? I'm going to break the 50 board. Okay. Okay, that was... <laughs> Sometimes miracles are just not possible. But what we do have coming up is the hairpin of the last corner. Absolutely send it there. Who needs a rear wing? Give me that straight line speed. <laughs> <laughs> Weight reduction, bro. Can we go for the dive bomb into the last corner to pull off an absolute miracle here in Adelaide? Hell no. We cannot do that. How the car is still functioning without a rear wing. It's Formula Ford. I don't know. But it's P2. Thank you very much. 
I think my team might disown me after that celebration across the line. But we've got the points. So 10 points. Not bad. Um, I was really feeling the win there, but Simmons was also quite proficient under brakes. So we underestimated that. But, driver standings. We move up into P3, equal third. Um, I think we need fourth, so it, it's still a very close battle. There's six drivers there, which which are in contention, or seven drivers really. So um, we've still got to keep our wits about us in the finale. I hope I've got a good starting position for this one. I definitely need a P10. That's not horrible, you know. And uh, with the way that turn one and two is profiled. We should be able to nab a few positions into there. Away we go for the finale of Formula BMW ADAC. This is our first little taste of what it will be like in the higher formulas. Squeezing through there. It's P9. Hmm. This is a tight little track, this one. Not as easy for overtakes, I would say, as what Adelaide is. But with that said, the pace should be pretty good here too. We've got Lee down here in 8th, so that's not a good showing for him. We could probably get P2 in the standings. If we keep our wits about us. You just showed great overtaking there. Okay, 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 goodbye car. Keep to the track. Go not for that big your tires go. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My goodness me, that is not a good... Set of circumstances, we are down in P20. And our hopes of extending the life of our junior career here are not looking good. <laughs> yeah, I'm shaking my head too, mate. Don't worry, we'll get you back up there. Fucking hell. The transmission could be leaking a little. Careful out there. Really? Come on, Lee. I know he's going to go slow here. I just have to anticipate it a little bit. This is the section where we keep getting caught out on the curbs. Now it's another driver! Thank you. Whoa, I did not ask for that downshift. This is a very jumbled up order. See, P3 in the standings, uh, starting like 12. Second is was in ninth, and now race leader here is third. This championship could be up for grabs if Simmons doesn't have a good day and I win. Oh, how has he still pulled that up? I hit the apex and I still struggled to get it through there. Oh, again that corner. <laughs> oh, Simmons is up sideways. This ain't V8 Supercars, son! Try to get a better exit there, didn't quite work out though. In the slipstream, this is for a podium and safety in our career. We're gonna turn across him into turn one and potentially get second as well. We can really lunge it in here. What can we do? P1 might be out of the question, but P2 certainly isn't. Throw it up the inside. Thank you very much. You're doing brilliantly. Stay focused and you'll take this guy. I don't think I will, mate. There's only a couple of corners left. Again, second phase. Not great through there. I'm just happy to have survived, to be honest. Final corner. I remember sometimes you could probably wall ride this if you really wanted to, but I don't think the boss would be too happy about that. It's going to be P2. Will it be the championship win? Congratulations, you're through. Probably not, but all we're looking for is progression. Three points gained, yeah, we haven't won this one. Uh, the gap is eight points overall, and a clear second in the standings, which is uh, all that we were after. So, we graduate from Formula BMW ADAC. We can now race that in free play if we so wish. Formula 1000 again, like we keep getting the same series. And um, what was it, last episode? I didn't realize I already did class B, four wheel drive track challenge. So I apologize about that. Um, 
honestly just caught me out. But uh, anyway, we will progress. What, what are we into now? Tier 11. After that, we have some historic rally. We have Formula Ford and Formula... God, I've seen the word formula too many times. Palmer Jaguar JP1. I'm going to do my best to avoid having repeats of championships, but I think sometimes that might be unavoidable. But anyway, get me in that Renault. Surface Paradise, Nürburgring Short, and Zandvoort. We've got some absolute bangers in this one. Higher power for the rear-wheel drive version of the Renault Clio racing car. The V6 is a great introduction to the more powerful rear-wheel drive tuning car championships. Right, we need to turn up the heat this championship. Okay, I will endeavour to do so. Heat, level, turned up. We've gone from a spice, well, we're going from a mild Nando's to a... Oh, you don't have mild in the UK. We're going from a medium Nando's to a hot. So brace yourselves. Here we are at the legendary, <laughs> if you're an Australian, Surface Paradise Circuit on the Gold Coast. A track which is actually kind of local to where I used to live. You just showed great overtaking there. I didn't overtake anyone. But this is the old layout of the circuit. Uh, this is back when the IndyCar series used to run here. Um, that building right there is where they hold I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, every first episode. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> um, I love this track and this little left hand and right hand chicane is probably my favorite, one of the, my favorite corners in the country, to be honest, absolutely flying through there. It's always good in an F1 car, just trust me on that. But um, yeah, great little circuit, you've got the beach off to the right hand side and uh, if you follow me on Instagram and stuff, you probably would have seen me make some pictures from uh, this little area done many laps of the circuit in some of my road cars and uh, it's it's quite amazing how much of a transformation occurs when the barriers get taken down it's almost unrecognizable um, you have to really keep your wits about you to, to actually know that you're actually driving on a international racing circuit is that a thing I don't know uh, but it's certainly a big one anyway We've uh, fought our way to the lead here, and I've just been going on about how good this circuit is. We lead the race. I think that's a testament to how easy this Renault is to drive, and my knowledge of this place. I literally haven't driven around here in 10 years. Time trial was always fun with these lines. You can absolutely throw it in. Okay, maybe I can't cut corners. But uh, you really have to risk it with those concrete barriers, which do not exist in real life. Um, racing game solution to corner cutting is just to chuck a big fat concrete barrier there. Because that's nice and safe. <laughs> but uh, you chuck this circuit on an F1 game, a modern F1 game, and play Can You Lap Surface Paradise in under 60 seconds with uh, those concrete barriers removed, and you've got yourself a fun little challenge. You've got yourself a circuit that is more cuttable than Monza. Don't relax as this race will be yours. I, I have many fond memories of chucking championship rivals into those death traps there as well. <laughs> Scripting from the tender age of 10. Bruh, we've got like a 20 second lead. Master of corner cutting. Maybe that should be the title of the video. This section looks absolutely nothing like in real life. If you look off to the sides, like, the barriers are much more obvious than this. <laughs> and there's many more buildings and trees around. But hey, this is 2006. You've been given the time penalty. I mean, it's not going to make a difference. I'm leading by 30 seconds now. There we go. That's, uh... A bit of drag reduction completed. Every single lap the car gets lighter and lighter as we knock more and more components off. I'm disappointed that I haven't knocked off the left hand mirror yet. There's still time. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! Well, I wanted to get rid of that mirror and I've done so. The doors are next. Oh my goodness. I tell you what, 
this has been an absolutely dominant victory, but it's come at a bit of a cost. Um, that being, we need a whole new car for the next race. But regardless, we are the king of surface paradise. Bring me that surfboard, baby. Excellent driving. He's just got first place. With a five-second time penalty, let's see the let's see the damage. Still won by 28 seconds. That's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> AI might need a bit of tweaking there. The boys have put in an absurd amount of hours. But we are back with a brand spanking new car for the second round of Formula V6 Renault here at Nürburgring Shorts. Let's see how we can actually perform on a real race circuit. I'll probably be last. The car hooks in really well. It's got great front grip. That thing's, that, that's for certain. Let's see if I can switch back on these guys. Oh no, Fernando Alonso has gone up our inside it seems. And I'm dead. Here we are, back to Surface Paradise spec. Final corner, Fernando Alonso, get in the bin. The races are definitely getting longer now. Like, uh, that Surface Paradise race took a, a good minute to complete. What a great overtake that was. I know you can do better. Keep pushing. Keep your nerve, and the podium finishes yours. Oh no! It didn't feel as good as you do. You don't keep on the track. I've been a complete idiot this episode. I do apologise about the driving. I don't intend to be a complete idiot on the circuit. But sometimes it just happens. Fast start of the race with a spin. Yeah, these uh, these formula... Why do I say formula with everything that I'm racing today? Anyway, these, uh, these cars are very easy to drive. And uh, AI quite easy to bully them in this series it seems we're gonna force this guy to go defensive clean around the outside thank you very much should we do a Nigel Mantle win by the smallest possible margin oh my god I can't Let's keep on going and go for a win. the car wouldn't stop in time <laughs> well that's the most uh, weird way to finish a race but anyway a win's a win See what the uh, the damage is in the driver's standing. Stern will probably move up to P2, and he does. Ten point lead heading into the final in Zandvoort, which is a circuit I really love on this game. So I'm looking forward to the challenge. Here we are then. This race, I'm going to be a good boy. I've got a I've got a a buffer in the championship, you could say. So I will make sure that every single overtake in this race will be done with the utmost of care. I was really thinking I was going to slam into that guy there. But this is just to showcase that I can be a good boy. Oh, this is the short layout. Oh man, we missed out on all the good stuff back there. But regardless... Oh! That will overtake. Thank you very much. Yellow car coming back at us. These guys... The Fernando Alonso Brigade is running out wide. Eyes on through. I don't really know what I was saying there. It's close. Thank you for the squeeze, Kevin Bacon. Why don't you stick to acting? That's worth noting. Switch back. I'm trying, mate. You know, you really shouldn't talk to your driver in the middle of a battle. Slicing through those guys. P5. Dive bomb. P4. You know what, this little Zandvoort short layout suits these cars very, very well indeed. Can you imagine trying to negotiate a 2020 spec Formula 1 car through here? Maybe like... I don't know, it's like trying to navigate it through a Tesco's car park at rush hour. It would be a nightmare. The final five minutes on a Sunday afternoon before the store closes. It's just nobody... Nobody wants to be there. Turn one. You lot are breaking way too early. Or maybe I'm breaking too late. Either way, it's the lead. Thank you very much for the championship. And look at that. Not a scratch on this car. You love to see it. I mean, after all the damage I dealt in 
Uh, no agreeing, and especially Surface Paradise. I kind of owed it to the boys to give them an early night tonight. The other drivers are only two seconds behind. Keep a hold of that lead. Bruh, that looks like more than two seconds. Should I? Should I? Nah. You're on the final lap. Oh. I nearly did a 1930s F1 car, or shall I say, European Racing Championship car, and Nurburgring from the last episode, and nearly binned it on the lap before, or a couple of laps before the end. That would have been embarrassing. You know what the problem is? A microphone is blocking the lap counter. That's my excuse. That's you, Lou. You've come a long way. Clean sweep! Nearly double the points of Kevin Bacon. Get good. Boom. What are we saying? We've done Formula Ford. These Formula... I've done it again! Palmer Jaguar JP1. Palmer. Formula. Formula. Palmer. Two completely different words. They're understeer McGee's. I don't want to touch those with a 10-foot pole. So I'm going to go with Historic Group B Rally to round out said video. I'm not going to look at what tier 13 is. We will leave it as a surprise. Third or above in the championship. And we're only racing at one place. So that's handy. Boom. We uh, have Ditch Rick. Um, apparently he's allergic to rally racing. But to be honest, it wouldn't have surprised me if Rick was uh, in the co-driver's seat alongside me. Who made that a solid concrete sign? Right. So, let's do this cleanly this time and stay away from those barriers, if possible. It's uh, very interesting to see that we've got a Rick mix of... Ah yes, I should have listened. It tightens to a two! Still hit it! Right. Next video. Why this sign needs to be removed from Toka Race Driver 3. Codemasters, sort it out. How many times do I have to hit that thing? Anyway, I was going to. I was going to congratulate this guy. Look at how slow I'm going through here. Oh, it's doing that bloody. It's doing the Lancer thing. Love that for me. So basically anything with all-wheel drive transmission, transmission, drive train, don't touch it with a 10-foot pole because it's insta-death. But I was going to praise this game for having rally uh, discipline into the main game. This is, you know, grid, F1. Uh, dirt rally, everything all rolled into one, it seems. But um, having experienced this car for the last five minutes, I can tell you that rally needs to be removed, 100%. Anyway, uh, I need to. I need a good result here. This is the only rally stage we're doing, and I need fourth or above to progress. And uh, I think we're like four seconds off the pace, so we're not looking good here, chaps. Car feels fine. Apart from that one turn at the start of the circuit. We're eight seconds off the pace. Jeez, I really hope this field has got a big spread. Those who wanted to see some uh, rally content on the channel again, uh, must be happy. Oh, that's tight. Have we made up any time in the third sector? No, don't give me that all-wheel drive bull crap. We're now 10 seconds off the pace. And at the end of the rally stage, please tell me we got fourth or above. What's happening out there? What are you playing at? You can call that racing, son. My granny can drive quicker than that. Oh, get your fuck, Rick. I can take you. You want to go, mate? I'll take you around Becky. I don't know what that is. 17th place. 11 seconds off the pace. We need to be... Ow. Less than three seconds. Of the race leader. I feel like this is going to be a very silent attempt. I'm going to try the handbrake. 
Okay, that'll work. Alright, screw it. I'm using handbrake everywhere. I don't care. It's rally. Everyone uses handbrake. Oh my goodness, superhuman turning abilities. Ignore the fact that I just buzzed that big sign. We move. Hello. Hello. Hello from the other side. It is nice to be on the pace. Wall ride. I deserve that. Four left. Into four right. Into long four left. Titans. Five right and four left and five right. Into very long six right. Into three right. Into four left. Right. Cool. I love how we're essentially hitting barriers when we hit the little mound. Like, should, shouldn't we realist? Okay, we didn't win. We threw that away. We really bottled that, but I think we should be through. I was silent the whole time, and then I go and open my mouth with two corners to go. That's just such a me thing to do. Oh, it's not even good enough! Oh, you're telling me. And in a rally stage, everyone is the top ten. Like, the top eight are separated by 1.8 seconds. That's a joke. We go again. I can't do it anymore. Three right titans. What did I even hit there? I'm gonna kill whoever put those things there. Oh, you can't even hit those. What does this world come to? Into long five right over finish. Fifty to stop. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! There we go! It's done! <sighs> this rally has been the bane of my career mode existence. And we've only gone and won the bloody thing. No, I don't want to see a replay. Get me to the next championship. We are done. We're done. I did it on my first try as well. Leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see plenty more Toka Race Driver 3 content. You, have got, you guys have no idea how happy I am to just get that out of the way. And in the next episode, we can do the HBDC V8 Supercar series, which is like the, the Formula 2 of V8 Supercars in Australia. That will be a series worth tuning in for. After that, we have, again, more of the same. Class A for wheel drive track challenge. I might do the US Dirt Series as something a little bit different. But that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. It's getting harder. It is getting very, very difficult. And my patience is wearing thin. But I'm enjoying it nonetheless. Until the next one, I'll see you next time.